tonight we are gonna finish this series and we are gonna explore X8 and we are not gonna be scared and we are not gonna spaz out and everything's gonna be smooth said one very very scared stalker so we are prepared as you can see we have a lot of stuff we have a buffer gives us health restoration wound healing we have a lot of energy drinks we have Hercules's any medical supplies don't give me any it's fine we're ready let's go to X x8 let's smash it out of the park 424 we got a lot of daylight ahead of us one thing left to do smash it out now wait we are gonna test out the new weapon too Hopefully some bloodsuckers attack us so we can take him out quickly. This is our like the prime area for bloodsuckers to be in. And we are not scared because we have our beautiful exoskeleton. Oh, hello. Done. Boom. One clip. I love this weapon. Basically an endless barrage of bullets. I wish you could increase the ammo clip to like 60. Then it would be just way too OP. And those were the regular bullets too. No, we are here. We got 25 Zombros. We are gonna go through them. Zombros, Monolith and all of the scum are here quick save because you never know as you see we are quite immortal right now and I'm not even aiming for headshots anymore this is an execution we are just aiming to finish the game and we shall do that go from the other side see what's gonna happen oh that was a glitch there should be a staircase over here a function in one oh he survived actually Today, my weapon goes in. This is probably the best, best weapon in the game. That's the feeling I'm getting from it. Can we go to here? No, we cannot. So satisfying to play the game like this. Shot him in the bum. Now I'm a little bit scared of the electrical anomalies. Just quick save. 
Where did you guys go? Come on. Out of the hip. Headshot out of a hip. Beautiful. Oh, he has some bullets. so weird to see a weapon that has a lower caliber ammo performing better Alright, we activated the generator We need to activate this generator because the elevator is working We can go around and, and do the quests normally by finding this PDA and on this PDA it will say oh Do you need to activate the elevator to be able you need to activate the generator to be able to use the elevator and to go down to the laboratory X8 but we just like winged it and we knew where to go and how to do it so we did it alright we are in the scariest part of the game. We got the card. Let's swipe it. We are coming in. Oh, and my anxiety just went through the roof. Because I know what's in store for us. set of documents, pick them up, sort it, run out, close the door, and you're safe. Then, you have an option. First thing I want to do is use the red key card to see what's happening here. We have a thunder weapon, we have an Ubercon, we have a lot of pistols, a lot of grenades, a lot of ammo, a lot of everything. We're gonna swipe that, and if you didn't do the mercenary mission, you cannot complete this. That's it, there's nothing else, bot cover there, I'm not worried about that. See what we are carrying. So the thunder is not even upgraded. So I'm gonna un no, no, but nothing. Just drop it. That's annoying. Hey, gonna can we attach this to something now? Let's drop it. We're trying to drop the guns. And quick save. So that's the red card. And we need four sets of documents. Which side do we choose? Let's go over here. Oh my goodness, I spazzed out. That scared the hell out of me. We got a poltergeist over here. We quickly take him out. You have a weapon here if you need it. I do not, but that's poltergeist assault. And it's really hard to. We are very exhausted to move, and I know why, because we have. Four wolves in here that are gonna, yeah, be a pain. Uh, I 
got the shades just thinking about them. Alright, that's pretty much it. Stairs into the belly of the beast. Let's quick save. I can hear them. This third set of documents is here. Here somewhere. Yep. Over here. Grab it. have three sets of documents. Those were the easy ones. Now it's time to get the full set. Got some anti-rad drugs, but nothing. Yeah. No, we got three sets of documents. Two more to go. Oh, I'm at it. It's please. And this is probably the nastiest part of the game because you will have three dwarves in there just being total assholes towards you. And last time I was here, I struggled. I struggled a lot. They will hit you with that barrel, but we have our exoskeleton, so we're good. is be at this range. This is not what you want to do. Still need to get two. And we need to get in closer. This is such a bad position. one that's the hardest part of the game and if you try to hit them from distance you're not gonna make it and if you don't have the good gear you're not gonna make it and be careful they chuck things at you and they can chuck that book at you and they can actually lose that book somewhere in the room I spent about two hours looking for that book and it was so bad Alright, that was the hardest part. Now comes the scariest part of the game.
or not doing any damage, but that's gonna change if I don't protect my suit. Our weapon is pretty banged up. I'll switch. Okay, this is the scariest part of the game. Now we can do what I did. Yeah, baby cries. Oh my god. The hair is falling on the back of my head. Basically, there is no babies in here. Our little buddy is in there. Let's open up the door and play. <laughs> that was expected that he's gonna do, and he locked the door, did he? Okay, we can keep the door locked, I don't care. I'm gonna take your documents and you're gonna exit. And you will not chuck that bridge at me. Because you will die. Simple as that. We got some food over here if you need it. And that's pretty much it. We opened up the cabinets. And the documents, I think we have everything, right? Leave the underground complex, we'll continue. You have found documents and you, you can now leave the laboratory. Did we find everything though? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I think we have everything, right? was accountant. One, two, three, four. We are missing one. Oh no, we have everything. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have everything. We double check the manual. Order of transfer. I think we have everything. Pretty sure. Oh, there's an easy way to find out. If we pick, if we pick, manage to pick up all of the documents, there will be a controller over there on the door, not letting us go through. He isn't there, so we missed something. Okay, time to go and explore one more time. It's probably down here somewhere. Side, some anti-rhetorics, but nothing. Let's 
related to the documents. Oh, I think I have an idea where the documents are. Sure, if I check this area, I think I did though. I can still hear some walking around. Oh, yeah. I can't remember where the last set is. Should have paid paid attention. I don't know if I picked everything up in my mind. I really think I did pick everything up. But I can't be honest, I'm sure I don't remember all of them. Guys are so annoying. I have to do that. That's the entire laboratory done. So the first one was here. Let me just do a quick swoop one more time. again.
mission should be completed if we found all of the documents, but it seems like we didn't. So I'll swoop around one more time over here just to make double sure that they didn't chuck documents. Because I said, I don't remember the first time if all the documents were in one place because they moved them around. Documents. Let's quick save and let's face the controller. Make quick, quick work of him. Because we are not scared of him. Right, boys? expect okay sorry about the delay let's quick save eight in the morning we are running good we might be able to complete everything in one day without sleeping even Simple as that. No need to Major, waste any to time. Privately. Let's activate our Hercules. Let's activate an energy drink. And we are on our way. Sometimes little critters spawn here, sometimes a bloodsucker. And I actually discovered that if a bloodsucker grabs you, he's gonna suck on your neck and you're gonna lose the entire control of your character. And in this mode, if that happens, you're dead. Come on, Major. Put your gun away for God's sake. Doesn't Everyone matter if you have an XO or not. Hit. Might as well repair our weapons and armor for free. Another thing we need to do is chuck all of the, the nasty stuff that we picked up. We do not need it. It's just slowing us down, but I didn't want to waste time. Uh, uh, drop in it. Actually, we should keep the anti rad drugs. We are still doing amazing on ammo. Yeah, don't need the bandages. Alright, let's go to the, the leader. Tell him what we discovered in the lab. Here we go. Major, we've got a serious problem. This operation has been getting more ridiculous every minute since the helicopters crashed. The men are dropping like flies. We've got no comms with HQ, and the situation just keeps getting worse. The evacuation choppers didn't show up again. And at this rate, it won't be long before we lose control of the situation completely. 
we need to establish communications with HQ right now. Our communications expert believes that the signal is being jammed from somewhere close to us. He's working on getting the coordinates as we speak. I sent some of my men to check out a possible source of the interference, but they went missing, and their personal signals aren't registering. Major, one of your objectives is to establish communications with HQ. Given the situation we find ourselves in, this should be your priority from now on. Also, is a personal favor to me? Please find my boys. Yes, sir. Okay, we are ready to continue the mission. Let's click save. Okay, the mission is over here. The squad which was looking for the source of radio interference went missing, you need to find it. It's the wrong way. They still had enough time, enough daylight. Let's go. Let's bring them hell. Let's give them hell. That's the expression I'm looking for. amazing dudes I just noticed that it's like figure out where the enemies are see I could really benefit from that earlier in game Base, I found one of your men. It looks like he blew himself up with a grenade. There are no signs of a firefight or any other evidence of him being attacked. Kowalski here. Roger that, Major. Hey, I got good news. We finally acquired the exact coordinates of the source of interference. The signal is coming from the kindergarten building. This is where the bloodsucker grabbed me and just sucked me dry. Let's go to the kindergarten. So I pick up, picked up a bomb. That bomb. It's placed on that door, and that's how we get into the kindergarten and deactivate. The antenna that's emitting the signal and scorching the brains of fellow stalkers. And we are ready to go in. That's one. Did, did I get him? I think I did. That was point blank. There's a couple of poltergeisters in this area. It's the second one. And I think a, a dwarf too, or a controller, or something like that.
and we need to destroy this. You destroy it by shooting the floor, falls through, explodes. You jump in, and you get freaked out by the, by the noises. You think it's a huge mutant, but on your relief, it's a human, a living human. Major, thank god, I'm saved. How did you end up in here? Uh, I don't remember much. I was, I was so scared I could barely think and I don't even know what scared me. I just had a feeling I had to hide so I ran. I remember streets turning somewhere. I came to this hole. The door was locked from the outside. I thought I was gonna die in here. How did you find me? Actually, let's get the hell out of here and get closer to the base. This place giving me the willies. I agree. And to be honest, if I, I was in that situation, I would do the same thing. Small boy, I'll get brain scorched in a fridge. Is that really you? Well, I'll be. We were starting to think we'd never see our doc again. So what happened? Well, it's a long story. I'll tell you another time. Okay. Thanks for your help. By the way, the Colonel wants you to pay him a visit. Thanks. I'll do that. Also, Gary headed for Yanov's station to restock. He asked me to tell you that he won't be back for a few days. Gotcha. Now this is... So, tell me, where were you? You're not going to believe me anyway, but in a fridge. What fridge? Where did you find it? Where did I find it? I'd like to see you find anything in my state. And what state would that be? As always in Stalker mm. series, quite sure how to there is a point of no return, and we are here. I spoke to the HQ commander and reported the situation to him along with all the information that's been collected. There won't be any helicopter support for a while. He suggested that we fortify our position and await further orders. USS observers are currently at the HQ, so you'll be able to talk to your superiors soon enough. Colonel, a radio signal has been detected, and its source is not far from the base. The transmission is encrypted, and I haven't been able to crack it yet. Do you have the coordinates? Yes, I have the coordinates, but the signal is intermittent, and it's moving. Monolith again? I'll check. Uh, let's investigate that signal. First things first. Okay. Now again, I do think this game is polished. Has some bugs in it, but nothing that takes away from the entire experience. I do hate the fact that right now I'm really enjoying the game. We really have the weapons, the tools, everything we needed 10 hours ago. And we get to enjoy that for a brief moment. And after that, the game is done. So what's the point of having all of these upgrades when you completed 95% of the game? They should have made these upgrades available somewhere at half of the game so the player has a sense of, of accomplishment and upgrades but still can enjoy those upgrades and I don't know that that's how I feel about it because getting those tools took a lot out of me you know searching everything oh I'm missing so bad this is why I need a shotgun. I'm not going to get a shotgun. Now let's talk about the end of the game. The signal is back. Transmitting coordinates. The end of the game is actually pretty amazing. So, 
a child bird comes in, saves all of you. Wait, by the way, that's a perfect artifact. Saves all of you. The signal is gone. And you get a choice. You get on the chopper and run away. Or to stay and tie loose sense up or just explore the zone a little bit more have a free roam experience now i am going to stay because i want to keep that option open for me and then a couple of moments later i am it's going back. to complete right the game to you. i don't see anyone it's close and it's moving toward our base It's underground. Major Kowalski here. You better get back here. We need to prepare for possible attack. Well, Bastards no won't catch us with our pants down this time. The reason why I'm, I'm not gonna hop on that chopper just because I want to have the open world ready for me. But I will complete the game just after that, like two minutes later. So you guys can see the ending. Don't shoot. I'm headed to the main entrance. Who are you? So we are expecting an attack, but on our surprise, the man, the myth, the legend comes in. My name is Trelok. You're the stalker who disabled the scorcher? Yes. But my plan didn't work. I came here to speak with your commanders. I have information that will allow the army to take control of the zone and destroy it. An emission is starting. Come, let's talk inside. We've got a problem. Our choppers are crashing for reasons that we've not understood yet. Until we work it out, there won't be any helicopter support. The only way to get to the borders of the zone is on foot. The reasons are obvious. There are many anomalies in the air, especially in the center of the zone. We had a map with the safe air corridor between anomalies, and the helicopters had emission protection systems. That's odd. You're telling me you haven't noticed that anomalies move around after an emission. Some disappear, and new ones show up in different places, which makes your map of anomalies effectively useless. So that's what it is. What? Emissions don't just follow one another. If you can scan the area and identify all the anomalies, the choppers will be able to collect us safely, provided they're dispatched right after an emission. We must inform the HQ of this as soon as possible. I'll contact my commanders right after the emission. It would be Lieutenant, amazing if we had get him on the line as soon as you too. can. That would be so good. Imagine Strelok, Victoria, and Scar in the same room, all the three characters from three different series. But I don't think Scar survived. Other thing is Strelok came in and just pissed on the military and Anyways, hi Sherlock. I'll share everything I know as long as the information information reaches the right people. What information do you want to hand over to the government? Lots of things. I'm I'm sure that the information I have can be used to destroy the zone. I thought I could do it myself, but it turned out to be far more complicated. The people who started it weren't in control anymore. I'll explain everything when we get out of here. What did you see in the sarcophagus? It's all fake, the monolith, the wish granter. It's just a lie, a device that clouds your mind, and the people behind it are hiding out somewhere else. Do you know who is behind it? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know who to believe anymore. Despite that, I found out more than they wanted me to. 
who monitored your radio signal? No, we monitored your radio signal. Yes, I contacted the stalker called God. He told me to get to the place by uh, the underground tunnels. Who is God? He's the legendary stalker. We met him in the first part. How did you know that the military are here? Well, the guy told him. So easy to figure out. Now, if we had all three Straylock's documents, we would replace Straylock's AK with his SGI. So while we're here, let's see if he wants it. Now, so you need to have the documents too. That's one of the mistakes I made. It's alright. Next time around, we'll, we'll do it. And next time around, we're gonna complete the monolith. And we can... And next time around, we're gonna complete this one. But in this run, I am not going to get them the heart of the oasis. Can we leave the paperwork in here? No, we have to take it, take it with us. Okay. And the, the, the part that's coming is a proper shootout. We are going to aim to keep all of our fellow members allow, uh, alive, including you and Straylock and Vano, who is somewhere. It looks like the emission is over. Kirillov. Contact HQ. Roger. HQ on the line. Colonel, why did comms go down? Because of the emission, it's impossible to establish comms during one. Listen up. Operation Fairway is being taken over by the USS. Is Major Dick Tariff there? Yes. Okay. He's in command from now on. Tell him to stay put. To be contacted by his superior shortly. Roger. I'm in command now, bitches. Major Degtyreb here. I read you. Good. As of this moment, you are responsible for completing Operation Fairway. Kowalski and the Stingray Squad will assist you. Report. I've managed to acquire documents about experiments carried out in the zone. Furthermore, we've been contacted by a stalker who's been in the CNPP. His name is Strelak, and he's offered us his cooperation. Yes, I have the data, and Straylock's information confirms it. The helicopters were hit by anomalies after their locations changed during the emission. The anomaly map issued to the pilots turned out to be useless. Good. That means we have until the next emission. We'll be collected together with the stalker from position B-28. Stingray squad will be evacuated with you. The birds are already in the air. You heard the news, fellas. When we go, stick together and keep the stalker alive. Any questions? Get ready to move. Major, can I have a word? From Angus, you and Sherlock have the most experience in the zone. The difference is that while Sherlock's experience remains a hearsay, the fact that you are pro is clear as a day. What, what I'm trying to say is that I'm counting on you, Major. Keep an eye on Straylock. The, there's not many of us left. Okay. I'll keep an eye on everybody. Don't you worry about that. Really worried that Vano is not here. He did not die. Shall we? Let's move out.
if Vano died, Vano died somewhere squad. out of my hand. I can't see him. And he's bugged up. Look at him staying in there. Would you look at that? Can you please go? Can you please move? Let's move to the right along the building. at him He's stuck in there oh my goodness oh, that's about to go around my bullet stop moving me This is what I was talking about. The quests are not polished, and our guy is stuck in base. Vano is gone missing somewhere. There's about a dozen zombies in the building. Move to the left and. to say that we will have enough sniper ammo to finish this one. Every zombie in Pripyat is going to know we're coming. We've got to move faster. Run! More zombies up ahead. Parvami! Through the arch. Natibel! Dude, the sensor is so good. On the way. Our orders are to take off if we come under attack, so hurry the hell up. Roger that. We'll be there soon. Jesus. It's the strut he has. That was like dodge the bullet strut. Stay alert and follow orders. We're real close to the evacuation point. Let's move. So annoying. Vano has gone missing. Oh, it's bastards again. Maybe we should go around the building. There's and no the time. Other thing Check your weapons and is fire at will. The scientists. The scientist military guy is a chicken. He stayed in base. It's just a disaster and I can't do anything about it. Annoying AF guys. So in fire it will that Go! I have to deal with this. Ooh. 
top and range. I took a lot of damage there. But I regen that in some way. What was that? Don't stop. Keep moving. It's here. Run. Huh? Come on, okay. Come on, buddy. Run. Come on. We don't have time. Major Detire, we're taking heavy Get fire ready, from man. an unidentified enemy. We cannot hold out for long. Those are the snipers sorted. It's pretty easy when you take out go. everything from go, there. Go. Who died? Major Dictire, we're ready to go. Oh, I the commander died. It is what it is. We are not going away, but we're gonna let our guys go away. So yeah. Commander died. That's unfortunate. I don't think I could have done it better. I probably could, but that was pretty good. 80% of those shots were headshots. I'm not gonna redo it, it is what it is. But yeah, that's the commander, captain. Whoa, 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 whoa. let's get out of here. They do no damage to me.
any more left. If I can take the last one. So if you boarded that chopper over there, that would be an instant end of the game. But we didn't. We are gonna go back to the base and magically at the point we get back, the base is gonna be full of scoopers. So this is like a an alternative way to finish the game. Basically gives you a chance to explore the entire zone and Pripyat is much easier to explore now when you have mercenaries and stalkers running through it and exploring it with you. It's just you can't even compare it because they are taking out the bloodsuckers, chimeras, the big thick headed beasts, the wolves, everything that you can find in the street they are taken out. I don't trust you. He does not trust me. That's fine, you don't have to trust me. And here we go, we are full with stalkers now. Duty, freedom, mercenaries. We got Uncle well, Yell chilling here. And that's well, it. The battle begins. Look at them. They went out and they're clearing everything. Kind of funny. And then you can continue to explore the game. I'm gonna open up the door. I'm gonna quick save. And how you end the game is you basically go to the guide. I want to leave the zone. I'm sure. Let's go. And you get the ending. And let's see what we missed. As a reward for successfully completing his investigation, Diktyrev was offered a promotion to colonel and the position of mission coordinator. He declined the opportunity to work at the HQ and submitted a personal request to be sent to the zone as the USS permanent observer. All right. The information about the development of side devices obtained by Diktyrev alerted USS commanders. All the information gathered on ex-designated laboratories was removed from military archives and filed as top secret. All personnel working in the zone were ordered to prevent the disclosure of information about the laboratories at any cost. Several experimental samples were made on the basis of technical documents for item 62. Following a set of test trials, it was decided not to go ahead with large-scale deployment of the weapon due to the high cost of ammunition. Nonetheless, it would be reasonable to assume that further development of the Gauss rifle is ongoing. Skadas became home to any and all who could reach it. Fierce stalker resistance did not stop the bandits from making regular and ultimately unsuccessful attempts to establish their so-called order on the ship. Despite this ongoing struggle, the Skadovsk carried on its unique brand of life. I'll take Following that. the destruction of the Bloodsucker Lair, it's unlikely that anything could significantly change the state of affairs on the Skadovsk. The old ship became a temporary center of stability in the ever-changing world that is the Zone. A fragile balance was reached between freedom and duty squads at Yanov Station. Tired of the endless struggle, fighters of both factions started leaving their squads and joining the Free Stalkers. Nice. I like that. I really the like that. The scientific expedition, organized by Professors Herman and Ozersky, was a success. The data they collected facilitated the development of groundbreaking medicine and technology which prompted the Ministry of Education to allocate additional funding for researching Beautiful. the zone. 
Gary's stories about the army's fate scared stalkers away from Pripyat. The few who dared to venture into the city ran into inexplicable phenomena, which added further dark strokes to an already gloomy picture of the dead city. Okay, thank you, Gary. We don't want soccer side. Organized dying. mercenary squads continue to be active in the zone. Their interest in the secret laboratories is becoming increasingly difficult for USS operatives to ignore. Attempts to establish the identity of the client who hired the mercenaries proved unsuccessful. Interesting. So I failed that one. The area around Yanov Station continues to attract growing numbers of stalkers. The lack of dangerous mutants and abundance of anomalous areas have led to the area being referred to as a treasure trove with increasing regularity. Rumors of Zulu's fate reached the leader of duty, General Veronin. Counter to most expectations, Veronin decided to posthumously award Zulu with the Silver Shield, duty's highest decoration. So Zulu died somehow. Vano headed off to the freedom-controlled military warehouses, where his cheerful personality and optimism quickly earned him the popularity they merited. Ultimately, he took charge of a small group of researchers involved in investigating anomalous areas. All right, that's a good ending for him. Senior Lieutenant Sokolov continued to take part in flying missions over the zone. During one such recon flight over Le Mans, his aircraft was shot down by mercenaries. Two weeks later, he was picked up by a patrol near the cordon. Within a month of his rescue, Sokolov had left the Air Force, joining a civil airline instead. I like that ending too, even though he wasn't with us. Owl established contacts with clients outside the zone. He trades in information, and if rumors are true, there are regular reports sent directly to the USS. Nice. A group of stalkers was forced to seek shelter on Noah's old barge during a particularly powerful emission. When the barge was attacked by a horde of snorts afterwards, stalkers were forced to concede that the barge was as good a defense against mutants as anything they'd seen. Even more astonishing was a litter of pseudo-dog puppies that Noah himself led into battle against the snorts. Nice, so the... Having found out about his friend's face, Carden gave up dreams of a stalker career. Having overcome his alcoholism, he moved to Yanov, where he partnered up with Nitro to set up a full-service repair shop. Both technicians gladly devote all their spare time to building a vehicle that could operate in the zone. Beautiful. So the man of the joint Noah... passed on the information he obtained on his trip to the Chernobyl NPP to the USS commanders. This prompted the government to create a scientific institute for research of the Chernobyl anomalous area. Strelok took up the position of chief scientific nice. consultant to the institute. When Colonel Kowalski, commander of the Stingray Group, returned from the zone, he was forced to explain the reasons for the failure of Operation Fairway. Following a dragged out investigation, and the Brasses' failed attempt to make him the fall guy, the colonel was finally given an honorable discharge. Uh, that was not fair. That's probably because the commander died. That's pretty much it guys. Thank you for being a part of our series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I did really try my best to explore everything without looking at the spoilers. I did seek help from Google when I really needed it, but I stayed away from it. By the way, on top of that building, that sign says, glory to effort. Anyways, Thank you for being part of my series, and I'll see you when the stalker comes out. Goodbye.